Live on KPRC-TV and the KPRC2 Plus live stream. The news starts now. Looks like maybe they used a tire iron to kind of bust that window. So they busted this all out. Right now, six burglars targeting local businesses, breaking in without a trace and leaving owners frustrated and concerned. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. HPD says the break-ins happened early Monday morning at two restaurants in the same Bel Air Strip mall. And one, none of them were caught on security cameras. KPRC2's Gage Golding reveals how these burglars are pulling off the crimes undetected. Before this crime even starts, the crooks started here, cutting power to the building. That way, a security camera like this won't be able to catch them. And they had to case the building a little bit to know where the power was. It's what leads Carrie Polly to believe whoever left his KP's kitchen restaurant looking like this knew exactly what they were doing, busting out the glass door of his barely three-month-old business around 3 in the morning Monday. The crooks looking for cash, but ending up leaving the place trashed. This area back here was like a mess. There was like a bottle of wine or something. And like, it was just stuff everywhere. They left behind more of a mess than they did stealing. All in, they got away with a few iPads, 300 bucks, and some tequila. They didn't steal any expensive tequila. They're not very sophisticated palates. They, they, they went for the cheap tequila. It wasn't just KP's Kitchen that had a break in. Just a few doors down at Saltillo's Mexican Kitchen, they too had their front door smashed in. Crooks going inside looking for cold hard cash. They really didn't take that much, you know. We didn't have any cash money here. Instead, they spared this restaurant the destruction, only making off with an empty sink and a $3,500 bottle of champagne. Right here. So that was a big bottle it, of champagne. It, it take all this space right there. No wonder why it cost $3,500. <laughs> the interesting notion of cutting power piqued my interest. Houston police say property and financial crimes detectives are investigating. Is this kind of break-in a trend? That's something HPD wasn't able to confirm, but they did say breaking into a business is a felony crime. For whoever did this, it doesn't sound like it was their first time either. Well, they knew what they were doing. It's not their first rodeo. And sooner or later, they're going to get caught. Both restaurants have their power turned back on and their glass fixed up. And they're ready to see customers who are ready to fill up. We won't be stopped. We can't be stopped. Now who's hungry? In Bel Air, Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News. Okay.